<clears throat> May, June 2016, paper two, variant two, question 20, a question about histograms. It says, Deborah records the number of minutes late uh, T for trains arriving at a station. And the histogram shows this information. Now, a histogram is a diagram which tells you the number of, in this case, trains. Okay, in you know, it gives you an idea of the number of trains that, in this example here, for example, the first bar represents the number of trains that arrived um, between 0 and 2.5 minutes late. And the second bar will tell you how many trains arrived between 2.5 and 5 minutes late, and so on. The third bar, how many trains arrived between 5 and 10 minutes late. Okay, it's like a, a way of displaying a grouped frequency table. Okay, so it's called data display. So you're displaying the data visually. Now, what is important is that in a, fre in a, in a histogram, the y-axis, which is called the frequency density, does not tell you the number of items, okay, or the frequency of that particular group. It doesn't tell you how many are in that group. You can't say, oh, there were 12 trains that arrived between 0 and 2.5 minutes late because it's not the height of the bar in a histogram which tells you the frequency. It's the area of the bar. Okay, the area of the bar in a histogram will tell you the frequency. Okay, so, um, and the area of the bar, you can see, is frequency density times how wide the bar is. Okay, so that's called... Uh, the frequency is equal to the frequency density, FD, times the, the width of each of the bars, which is I. Interval. That stands for interval. Okay, so if I want to find, this question says, find the number of trains that she recorded. So we want to find how many trains are represented in this histogram. I, I have to work out the area of each of these bars, and that will tell me the number of uh, trains that were recorded. So, for example, if you look at the first bar, its height is 12. The frequency density is 12, and the interval is 2.5. So for the first bar, the frequency is going to be 12 times 2.5. Okay? 12 times 2.5 is going to be 24 plus 6, which is going to be 30. Let me just make sure in case I have a mental block here. So let's, you can have 12 times, let's put this over here. Okay, clear it, 12 times 2.5, 12 times 2.5, that gives you 30 as I said. The second bar, its width is also 2.5, but its height this time is up to 20, that's 25, that's 26. So the second bar is going to be 26 times 2.5, okay, so that's 52 plus 13. Okay, that's going to be 65. Let's just again make sure. So you're going to have, this time it's going to be 26 times 2.5. 26 times 2.5, which is 65. Okay, so there's 65 there. And then the third bar, the third bar is, its height is 15. And its width is, this time, 5, from 5 to 10. So 15 times 5 is going to be 50 plus 25, which is 75. And the fourth bar, whose width is 5 and whose height this time is 10, well, that's 10 times 5, which is 50. And the final, final bar, last but not least, okay, you're going to have the height of the bar this time is 2 and the width is 10. So 2 times 10 gives you 20. All right, so all together now, all together now, you're going to have 30 plus 20, which is 50, okay, uh, plus another 50, which is 100, 165, okay, and 230, 240. So you're going to have 240 items represented in this histogram. Okay, so that's the number of trains that Deborah has recorded. So the answer here should be 240. The steps I've shown next to the histogram, okay, however, when you show them, of course, they should be in this space over here. I've done that because you can see exactly what's going on when 
It's next to the histogram. Now, part B says calculate the percentage of trains that recorded that arrived more than 10 minutes late. So we've got to take note of a few things that are important. So it says calculate the percentage, the percentage of the trains recorded. So it's a percentage you have to give um, that arrived more than 10 minutes late. Okay, so if we look at our histogram, okay, the bars before 10 are the train represent the numbers okay of trains that arrived less than 10 minutes late okay the ones that arrived more than 10 minutes late are the ones after 10 okay so you got to find um the number in these two bars here okay so i'm just going to shade that so you can see so the number in the in the last bar was 20 and the number in the bar before that was 50 so all together in these two bars is 70 trains represented out of a total of 240 so it's 70 out of 240 now that is a fraction of trains that arrived more than 10 minutes late we want the percentage of trains that arrived more than 10 minutes late it's very important that we read the questions carefully so we don't lose marks so we got to multiply this by 100 percent okay we multiply it by 100 percent okay all right it's good important to write the percent there to show that you're converting into a percentage okay so 70 over 240 multiplied by 100 percent that will convert it into a percentage so you have 7 over 24 times 100 percent and the answer is going to be in percent so you have 7 divided by 24 multiplied by 100 you don't write percent in the calculator just okay so that's 175 over 6 which gives you 21, 29.16, okay, so you can do this in two ways, all right, what we could do is, we could do this in two ways, oops, it's crashed, typical, one second, one second, it gave you 70, 20, one second, sorry about that, let me just, technical glitch here, Okay. <clears throat> so let's get the calculator back. Sorry, so it's 7 over 24, 7 divided by 24 times 100%. So you just write times 100, you don't put the percent in there. You've got 175 divided by 6. Now 175 divided by 6 will give you 29.6. Okay, uh, 29.16. So you can write it as 29.2. Okay, 29.2. It gives you 29.16777 dot dot dot. You can write this as 29.2% because you've got to round to three significant figures. Okay, so that's how you should write your answer um, in this question, 29.2%. And there we have our answer for question number 20. As I said, be careful that you read the question carefully. It's asking for the percentage. So you have to transfer, we have to convert our answer okay uh, in, into a, we make a fraction of how many trains were more than 10 minutes late divided by the total number and then you multiply that by 100 percent okay the percentage of the trains after the word of comes the denominator that arrived more than 10 minutes late that's the numerator but that fraction must be converted into a percentage okay that's very important so there we have uh, that question done thank you very much